Parker coming live at the Diversion Dam. No quick. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers government property. And 3,500 CFS right now going over the spillway at the dam. Flood of 96. This is the intake canal going to Bennington Lake from the Diversion Dam. Last night at 4 o'clock this morning, as you see, we had uh, 2,500 CFS going down there. Now we're down to about 1,500 CFS. Diverting, diverting less and less water into the lake. The lake right now is at elevation 1255 above sea level, which is 10 feet below being completely full. I had to take all those uh, trash racks out there right here in front of the camera last night. Uh, because they were plugging up with debris and we couldn't divert any water into the lake. So we took them all out uh, with the help of a crane. And uh, there they sit. Now we can run water through the diversion dam into the lake again. Brooks Park's underwater. A little bit of water out there in the grass. Tudor chambers down there in the channel down below the dam really throwing up a ruckus. Diversion Dam intake canal going into the Bennington Lake. Last night we had those two right there wide open, and we just barely kept the flow under control. Those two gates there we weren't using because the trash racks, which were those things right there, were plugged last night. And we got them out this morning, so now we can use them two gates we needed to, but we don't we really see them right now. That's uh, 3,500 CFS going down Mill Creek right now, which is as much as we can put in. Everything else going in the lake, which right now is about, that's about 1,500 going into the lake. Yeah, about 1,500 on that gauge there. Right around 0.3. Spillway 3500 CFS. And there's the levee right there that we was worried about breaking last night. But, yeah, so far it's been holding. Deal checking over a while ago, a couple hours ago, looked at it and said it was all right.
3600 going by the diversion, I mean, excuse me, division horse number one arm gates right here. Like the county guy here. <laughs> still going down Mill Creek. The uh, lake is about 1255. The bottom of these gates are 1252. So, theoretically, the lake is this level right here. That's the lake level. So, the water now is starting to back up against these gates here. As soon as the water equalizes and quits coming in, I'll have to shut the gates down to keep the water from the lake getting back into the trip. shut six foot of water in the intake canal there's Bennington Lake six foot on the staff there which makes it uh, 1258 feet elevation above sea level for Bennington Lake which is seven foot below a full pool we still have 3530 feet plus because it's off my gauge going down Mill Creek, estimating about 3,700. And if it starts receding shortly, I can leave this area. All right, Bennington Lake. Elevation right now is 1254.4, which is about nine feet below full pool which we, two nights ago, we was up to 12.56. So it's gone down a foot and a half now. There's the return canal, open the max flow from the butterfly valve, which is that gated valve down there at the toe of the dam. Howell Bunger valve is closed. There's no, no water going down Russell Creek. All the water's going through the dam up to that upper valve house. 
down the return canal to the project office, which goes back into Mill Creek, which right now has a flow of, I think, 1600 CFS. And on Wednesday, Thursday morning, we had 3,500 plus going down Mill Creek, and about two to two thousand or two thousand to twenty five hundred coming into here which we pretty much filled up in about 55 hours we started at 12 excuse me we started at 1190 mean sea level and we ended up with 1256 mean sea level right over there is the restroom at the Bennington Lake parking lot which is under 10 foot of water to the roof and right out in there is the intake tower which is currently under 40 feet of water which is all the we're sending the water through that intake tower underneath the dam down to that bifurcation butterfly valve and then up to the upper valve house and then down the return canal to the project office. can't use the East Service Road, which is over there, because its sections of it are underwater, which is normal. It wasn't designed to be used when the lake was full. We used the upper valve, the upper service road, which goes on the west side of the lake, which is right there, right above. That road right there is the one we use. It goes to the diversion dam. It's uh, above the wall, above the lake, so we can use it anytime we need to. Get a close up, better shot of that bifurcation valve. It's right there. The uh, 42 inch pipe goes underneath the dam. It makes a T right there. The straight pipe goes down to there, which is the outlet canal for Russell Creek. And the T goes that away, which that valve is controlling, and goes up to the valve house right there, which goes down the return canal back to the office. Russell Creek Outlet is not being used. We won't use it unless we have a problem with the integrity of the dam. And then we will open that up to try to evacuate the water quicker. The flow charts say that we will have this lake down to 1,212 feet, which is the limit for the return canal. At 1212 we can no longer put water in the return canal. It'll take us 29 days to get down to that point and that way the intake tower will be above water again. And then from there if we need to go back down to 1212 we have to open up the Howl Bunger valve and run water down the auxiliary outlet which is right there down to Russell Creek if we need to get from 1212 down to 1205 or any lower.